Welcome back guys. <clears throat> Today I thought I'd take a look at LXLE, the new uh, release candidate. Now, as I mentioned before, I have liked LXLE <clears throat> in the past and I've been waiting for some of the issues to be resolved. It looks like the developer is really trying to get the issues resolved. One of the uh, recurring issues that I've had is that I'm not able to install drivers through the driver manager. Now it's the same driver manager that's used on Ubuntu and all of the Ubuntu flavors. So I have installed several different Ubuntu uh, releases lately. Lubuntu, Ubuntu, Zubuntu, Ubuntu Mate, the, uh, the driver manager within those uh, distributions works flawlessly. I've only got two drivers that I have trouble with. One is NVIDIA and the other is my uh, Realtek Wi-Fi driver. Now I haven't, I just did this install. This is a hardware install. It is not a virtual box install because I want to test the driver installer. Um, I updated the system and installed Ubuntu Restricted Extras. Uh, so the system is fully up to date. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, uh, this release, this release candidate for LXLE 1604.2. I'm going to put it through a couple of tests. The first one being how is it able to install drivers? Now, normally when I install my uh, NVIDIA driver, it doesn't install properly on LXLE. Within other Ubuntu distributions, it installs flawlessly, no issues at all. So I've requested that LXLE developers take a look at that in the past, and I think that they have done some work on some of those long-term nagging issues. So I'm going to test it out. Let's take a look. I'm going to go to the menu. As I said, I've just updated the system and installed a few programs that I need to make this video. But other than that, I haven't done anything to it. So the control menu, driver manager. Now you'll recognize this from other Ubuntu distributions. It's really the same driver manager. As you can see, it looks the same, and it should work the same. Now, it's telling me that I am using the Intel microcode uh, for my processor, but my NVIDIA is not configured, which normally it would not be, and my Realtek driver for Wi-Fi is not in use at the present time. And this is normally what I see when I first do an Ubuntu install. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do these one at a time so that we can test it out. Uh, let's do the real tech. Now, as I said, this works flawlessly in the um, recent Ubuntu releases. And so I'm expecting that it will work the same. So I'm going to click Apply Changes. And hopefully it will start to install my Realtek driver. And it looks like it's doing that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it finish installing. And then I'm going to reboot. And we will see if my Realtek uh, Wi-Fi adapter is usable. So let's just leave it right there. It's done now. I'm going to close out the driver manager and I'm going to reboot. So guys I'll be right back with you and we'll see if this first driver install um, made it through successfully. Be right back. Okay welcome back guys. So I've rebooted and let's see if that now I'm connected to the internet uh, through my Ethernet cable. 
So let's see if that driver installed. And it did not. The My driver is not available. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to install it manually. And we'll see if that works. Now before I finish this, <clears throat> what I'm going to do just for the, uh, to give the LXLE uh, distribution the benefit of, of the doubt, before I go ahead and install manually, I am going to unplug the dongle and plug it back in just to see if it triggers the uh, recognition of the driver. So I'll let this just finish up. Right now it's installing some headers um, so that I can go through the manual install process. But as I said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait till this is done and then I'm going to unplug the dongle and plug it back in just to see if there's any recognition. Okay guys, hold on one second. <sighs> okay, so I unplugged it and plugged it back in and nothing still okay so let's go ahead and finish up the manual install and this will just take a moment and we'll change into that directory make and this will just take a moment and then I'll have to reboot to see if the driver becomes visible and the dongle or the Wi-Fi adapter workable or usable and right now this make process is the longest part of the process once this is done then I'm gonna do sudo make install and then mod probe the driver all right, so sudo make install. And then we're going to mod probe the driver. Okay, device or resource busy. So I am going to reboot and I'll be right back with you guys okay guys so I finished the manual process and rebooted and as you can see uh, my Wi-Fi driver is visible I can connect to my Wi-Fi network just need to enter the password and it should give me a message that I'm connected and I am now connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now I can disconnect from my wired connection and my Wi-Fi is visible. And I will show you the Wi-Fi icon and I am connected to my Wi-Fi network. If I click on my browser as you can see it is working so that's no big deal I, that's no problem at all you know it's I can I can install the uh, driver manually I've got my Wi-Fi working no problem at all there let's let's take a shot at Nvidia 
So if I go to Control Menu, Hardware, Driver Manager, and let's open that Driver Manager panel. And I am using the, as you can see, I'm using my microcode and my Realtek driver. All I need now is my NVIDIA driver. I'm going to click on the recommended driver. And now this normally works flawlessly within Ubuntu. Uh, those of you who have done Ubuntu installs know that this normally works properly. Now the problem I've had with LXLE is um, through the last couple of releases I have not been able to get it to work either manually or th using the driver manager. I'm not sure why that is since LXLE is basically using Ubuntu's driver manager which normally works flawlessly. So I'm hoping that that's been resolved. Let's let's try that. Let's click on apply changes and it should go through the install process which it's starting right now. Once that that's finished um, I should all I should have to do is reboot and the driver should be recognized and hopefully that's the case. Now I'm gonna pause the video just until this finishes. Okay guys and it looks like it has finished um, so all I'm going to do now is reboot the system and hopefully everything is running and running properly so I'll be right back guys okay guys I rebooted and all we need to do we're gonna check a couple things in the control menu let's go to the driver manager and it says drivers cannot be installed please connect to the internet or insert the Linux Mint installation DVD but yet each of my drivers are checked off here so if I say click OK Um, and then I go to my settings, click on NVIDIA, and actually the NVIDIA driver is loaded, and it's running, and no issues at all, other than the driver manager telling me that a driver couldn't be installed. Um, it's actually installed. Everything is working fine uh, except my Wi-Fi. As you can see, my Wi-Fi is no longer working. So let's unplug the dongle and plug it back in. So now NVIDIA is working, but the dongle wasn't. But now, as you can see, unplugging the dongle and plugging it back in made the driver and the networks visible and I am connected to the internet. So I would say that LXLE has made a ton of progress. Let's go back to the driver manager to see if it shows anything different now. And hopefully it should, yeah. So it sh once I unplugged the Realtek dongle, uh, the Wi-Fi adapter, and plugged it back in, now everything is showing uh, configured properly. So that's really good news because, as I said, I've enjoyed using LXLE in the past. What prevented me from using it was the fact that the driver manager would not function properly. 
but it looks like they've resolved that and I'll tell you you know big thumbs up uh, to LXLE and the distributor the uh, developers for uh, listening to the users and getting these little issues resolved now uh, LXLE comes with quite a bit of software as you can see and so everything is pretty much covered and I'm going to be using this distribution for the next few days uh, as my daily driver just to see if I come across anything that m might need uh, fixing and then I'll pass along the information to the developers but I'll tell you right now I'm very impressed I like what I see and I gotta tip my hat to them because the LXLE developers took the uh, criticism seriously and uh, made the necessary changes. So guys, that is it for this video. This was a test of the LXLE release candidate to see how well the drivers installed and it passed with flying colors. So guys, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.